Hi everyone, my name is The Casual Chemist and today I will be making uh, the first video in what I hope to be a series of videos uh, focusing on Dauntless, uh, kind of just beginner tutorial guides and hopefully building up from here. Uh, in this first video, I'm going to be going over each of the rogue monsters, which are pretty much your beginner uh, level tier one monsters. So the way the monsters are broken up in this game is that there's multiple tiers. You have tier one, two, three, uh, etc. And you start with tier one, which are called rogue monsters. And so I just boop up my, my music there. I think when I stream this, I turn it off. But um, so I'm just going to make a little video here on how to go after the rogue Nasher, which is probably going to be the first monster you encounter. I think in the tutorial, uh, that is actually the exact monster that you you encounter so I'm gonna go ahead and just cue myself up for this you could see I have the ability to create a pursuit and in this game pursuits are what kind of let you target a monster so you'll see what I do here is I create a pursuit I choose the rogue Nasher and now I'm able to go on a rogue Nasher pursuit because that is what I intended to go after I could have gone on a hunt or a patrol rather and the patrol allows me to simply uh, I'll get a random selection of five monsters and I'll encounter one of them on the patrol. So my character is just about ready to do tier three level monsters. So you can see here on this little airship portion, I could wait uh, for three other people to join me to be partied up, but um, I'm pretty comfortable being able to beat this rogue Nasher on my own. So I go ahead and just ready up by myself and because uh, I'm able to beat this guy by myself. We're, we're pretty... Uh, I've been playing for a few weeks. I'm a little experienced, experienced uh, behemoth hunter here. So I decided, uh, you can see, I'll talk about my, my loadout now real quick. Uh, I'm using the Charog armor set. So when you get to a certain point in the game, you're able to craft certain, um, craft certain armor sets depending on what materials you use to make. So there's a monster called the Charog, which is a, a fire lava spitting lizard thing. And that is the creature I decide to use because it gives you a buff to your damage percentage, but you lose maximum HP. And the kind of character I'm going for is simply a glass cannon axe user, which you can see here. The last little bit of my equipment is my axe, which is a axe made out of Shriek, which is a kind of owl looking creature, which we'll see in a later video, hopefully. And the way this axe works is that if I... Uh, roll my attack immediately after a roll will do a percent more damage so that's kind of when you see me fighting that'll be kind of what I'm trying to utilize so in Dauntless when you load into a zone you get queued up and you'll enter a randomized uh, hunting ground so you could have a snowy one a desert one this kind of pretty little field one which is the one we happen to get and you're kind of left in the open to hunt for the monster that you want to find you could see when I first landed, I used my lantern, and the lantern is a tool you could use to hunt and track the monster. You could see those little fireflies flew out and pointed me in the direction of the Nasher. Now you could see we first encountered the Nasher, which is this kind of beaver looking buddy. So I will kind of just walk my way, or walk you through kind of what I was trying to do, uh, even if I wasn't doing it all that well at some points. So the weapon I'm using in this video is the axe, and the axe is a very high risk, high reward kind of weapon. You can see what I'm trying to do is you could char charge up the axe into three levels. You could hear a little audio cue as you charge it up, and when you get to that maximum level, you'll do more damage. So your goal with the axe is to charge it up and try to attack uh, one of the weak points of the monster with that charged up attack. I'll wait till I get a good combo off here. You can see I get one and two, and then you can see I get the three. So you can see those yellow points of damage, uh, which mean that yellow points of damage are doing severing damage. So a big mechanic of fights is that you want to attack specific parts of the monster to sever them. And you'll see later in this fight, as we keep attacking the tail, we will be able to sever the tail and uh, cut it off, which will make the fight a little bit easier to deal with because it won't have a tail to swing around. You can see what I'm trying to do is focus around the tail. So, you might wonder why I'm using the Shriek Axe. Different, you can make different weapons out of different materials, and you could uh, 
use each of their bonuses. But what's neat about the axe specifically is that you could see I could charge it up, and I could attack three times and get that charge. Uh, get that charge. So you can see I'm able to attack once, twice, roll, and attack a third time. I don't know if it was intentional, but you can see that after rolling, I still preserve the power of a third level charge attack. And of course, that third level charge attack stacks with the shriek roll effect, which would give me a ton of damage. So that is the reason I use the shriek. The charge combo is one and two, roll and three. So that's kind of the general uh, combo I go for here. and it's been working for me pretty well especially in a full party where I'm kind of able to hang back and just charge up my attack it's very very good DPS so uh, I should talk a little bit about the Nasher this rogue Nasher really isn't anything all that special you can see that he does a few very just basic attacks swinging his tail around charging directly at you and doing that flip attack he is the first monster, he's kind of meant to be a very tutorial-esque thing, right? He's not too too complicated, just a lot of stomping, a lot of charging. Uh, but some specific strategies you could use for him is after he does that flip attack, he's vulnerable for a few moments, which you could see he just did there without his tail. But that is a, it's very predictable and you're able to, to dodge that and get a free hit off. Uh, in addition to that, when he's stomping, if you can attack on the opposite side of where he's stomping, that's also free damage. And you can see as the fight goes on, the axe gets stronger. And the reason it gets stronger is that the ultimate ability, which is indicated by that blue bar right under my health, uh, stacks damage the more I use it. But I can get more into that in a later, more advanced video. So you can see that the hunt was complete. You know, quick four minute hunt there. Not too bad. Uh, I hope you guys found this useful. Um, and just kind of get a feeling for the first monster, a little bit about the axe weapon, and a little bit about the rogue Nasher. Which again isn't the worst or most difficult fight, but seeing it is useful if you're having any issues. And of course, mastering these early fights is easier, or makes future fights easier when they kind of build more mechanics on top of them. So, if you're new to Dauntless or was curious about the gameplay, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you're able to uh, get some use out of this. Remember to check out my Twitch channel where I typically will stream Dauntless and some other games, and if I missed anything or said anything that was wrong, feel free to leave a comment and correct me. I'm still trying to learn more about the game, and I hope to share the game with some others and that you guys are able to learn how to be better slayers. I hope to catch you guys in the next video and remember to give a subscribe and follow and check out my Twitch channel because I love interacting with live viewers. Until next time, Momentai, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye bye.